Welcome to Awaken Your Canvas Within, consciously looking within ourselves for true well-being. My name is Kevin Benavides, and today on the episode, I'm speaking to Alana Perry. She is an expressive arts therapist, currently in her third year at the Creative Institute of Toronto, finishing her therapist diploma, and I have her here with me today. Hi, Alana. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and yourself? I'm great, thank you. Uh, thanks for taking your time and uh, coming and uh, being a part of the podcast. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a- I just thought it's a great thing to have you on because expressive arts uh, therapy, um, Not I don't know how many people know about it, but it's a great <laughs> But pardon, not many. But it is a great thing, especially with, with being creative. It helps us out when we're stressed or depressed, anxiety, any, you know, any of the, those really, kind of yeah. emotions that we're having. Um, it kind of helps out and hopefully with our, uh, with our talk today, people understand more about the creative process and how uh, being creative helps everybody out. So, uh, first off, I just wanted to, to ask you, um, or just to get you to explain to everybody, to the listeners, what, in your words, what expressive arts therapy is. Okay. This, so this is something that it took me three years to put in a definition to, because before you find anything out of XRP, you need to know that it's an experience. It's you have to live it. So in order for you to live it, you then define it based on your own experience, right? So the easiest way I can put it is that expressive arts therapy is um, an intermodal therapeutic process that uses any art form as therapy. So it's all in doing things like writing or uh, drawing, performing, creating a play, doing visual arts, or anything and everything that is creative can fall under that, uh, that category. And you use that as your experience to then make yourself feel better and kind of understand whatever it is you're going through during that time and yeah definitely so it doesn't really have to be (laughs) creative some people think when you're creative you have to be like an artist or you know what I mean oh yeah no not even a little bit it's I I was I did more theater yeah drama before I that's where my strengths were yeah drama improv um and I was scared of visual arts like I never ever ever would draw or do this or that because I'd see other people and I'd judge myself and say yeah. oh I can't do that I can't do that I'm not doesn't good at look it. Good. no whatever yeah it doesn't look good uh bad and then um I joined uh this the expressive arts therapy program and they the very first weekend I was there they gave me it was like an eight feet long sheet of paper and they said paint you have two days paint it and I was like, okay. So I just started doing whatever. It didn't matter. I just let it happen. And um, I I've, can't stop painting now. It's been three years of uh, I, all I do is paint or draw. I even have a sketchbook. I'm obsessed with pastels. It's it's now a part of my life. Of course. And who so I am, obviously so. it was a good experience. Oh, more than anything. More than anything. Especially I was so, I was so scared of paint because paint doesn't have an eraser. Yeah, I can't go so back. It's like, you can't go back. Oh, no. No once it's there you're done and it's like well that's okay just paint over it like just deal with it so it went yeah now it's a that's big awesome. part of my life that's great especially uh yeah. you know I think a lot of people don't realize that they're creative because you know they just go through life and they've never done anything creative and they yeah. think you know that's not for me or and um and it's and it's hard for them to yeah. um to realize that hey I don't have to be like this amazing artist but just being able to to okay. sit down and do something creative something that you feel um will help well you might not even know it's going to help you but at the end of the day sitting there That's and it. drawing something okay. or writing something down whatever that may be you know that helps you out at the end mm-hmm. and it's just getting that getting to that person and and letting them know right oh, that definitely. that's that's uh something that's possible and hopefully that's what we can uh, put out there with the podcast oh, here today. Sure, but sure, uh, sure. when we uh, first met, you told me that story about that gentleman that came to your one of your workshops. Yes. So Elena, she yes. has done, um, although she's, she's still in school, she is uh, practicing as a, a therapist already and doing her own workshops. 
and uh, she's done uh, a few now. Uh, I've lots, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen I've seen them all up yeah. on uh, Facebook and um, some videos and some pictures, and it's, it looks all all amazing, amazing thing that you're doing. And uh, you uh, so the, what I was saying earlier was that you were telling me a story about that guy or that gentleman that came with his uh, yeah. friends who they were going yep. to do the uh, workshop. He didn't want nothing to do about it. So I'm wondering yep. if you can go over that story. Yeah. I, I loved it. I love that story. Of course. Oh, my God. Yes. It, no goosebumps thinking about it. Um, so I was offering an uh, open workshop and it was you can come in and out and create whatever you wanted during uh, the set time period. And so as you were saying, this small group of friends came in. It was about three girls and one male. And he's like, now I'll just sit here, watch you guys do you. And like pulled out a burrito, like was sitting, just watching like nah, this. Nah, nah, nah. More and more people started to come and he kind of slowly finished, put his, way, his stuff down. I was like, oh, like maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab a canvas. Like, okay, grabs a canvas. Next thing you know, like an hour later, he's created the most incredible, incredible piece on this little piece of canvas. And he did it with Sharpie. And it was like, it was so intricate and well-designed. And it was like, it was aesthetically so beautiful. But then Afterwards, he just kind of stopped and started talking to all of us, too. I don't think I told you this earlier. He he sat down and started talking with us and wanted to know more and more about what we were doing, this and that. And he sits in a Texas friend, and <laughs> one of my friends was with me. She was being a little sneaky and saw his, his message. And he had messaged his mom saying, hey, mom, I just did this thing at school, and it made me feel really good and calm. And I was just wondering if maybe for... Christmas, you guys could consider getting me an arts kit so that I could start doing this more. And once she told me that, I sat down. I was just was like, "Oh God, I'm ready!" Oh my God, so emotional. Oh my gosh, this is working. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was like, oh, "This is what so this you do while you're I doing do that." What I do. Exactly. Yeah, and just to see that he had completely changed in a matter of three hours and was willing just to try it because he looked around. Everybody we were in a good happy, space. Everyone having was just good time. Yeah, just doing whatever. We had some salsa music playing, like, you know, it was good. So, um, yeah, and then and then he even took his, his piece home with him, which was really awesome because everyone had the option to either leave it and we would donate it or they kept it with them because it was their, uh, their image. And he, yeah, like carefully put it in his bag and, you know, brought it home. And it was like he was showing people and exactly. he was then excited about what he had done and... I was like, cool, to see that within two, three hours, it's such a big change. It was, it was, for sure. Just, that was yeah, it was incredible. Words can't, what, words what can't explain there. it. Yeah, but, but uh, for sure, that story just gives us that example of how we, when we're just able and open to something, it actually might help us out in, in the long run, right? Yeah. At, at first, you think, you know, this is not for me. And then, just because you're, yeah. if you're open to it and just give it a try, who knows? Yeah. Maybe that guy would have done it and he would have been like 20 minutes into it and just said, nah, this is not for me and yeah. stopped. But, and that's, and okay. that's okay too. And yeah, that's, that's the too. best part. Yeah, exactly. That's okay too. But maybe because now, because of that, he's helping himself out because if he's mm -hmm. saying that he's, he's not, uh, he's feeling better, maybe he was, you know, stressed out because of school and now he has a way of uh, channeling his stress basically through the art. Definitely. Right? I even recall there was a last year's uh, version of this. So it's um, Brock University provides an entire week dedicated to mental health right before exams start. So it's in that tr transition between when classes end and it becomes a really stressful time for uh, students. So this entire week is dedicated to um, being well. So they call it wellness yes. week. And that's when they've invited me to do these arts therapy workshops. So um Two years ago when I was uh, providing one, a student came in and, again, trying it for the very first time, just grabbed a pastel, didn't know what to do. So I said, okay, close your eyes, put the pastel on the paper, and just start moving your hand. Just do whatever. Just yeah. draw. And then I, I was like, Kate, stop, open your eyes. And he looks at it and he's like, wow, that's pretty abstract. And then ended up working on this random, you know, abstract piece with pastels for about an hour. And afterwards I came up to him and said, well, can you title it? Like we had a little, little bit of a conversation. And I was like, so how do you feel? You wanted to know what this was about. What, what's up? And he's like, 
well, nothing was wrong earlier. He's like, but now that I'm done, I just feel better yeah. anyways. He's I'm, like, I'm still so feeling, yeah, exactly. He's like, nothing was wrong before. I didn't come in upset or anything. He's like, but I still, I just feel good and I feel exactly. happy. And I was like, good, thank you. Good, good, good. You tried it. And now it's like, just if you can take five minutes to do that and just figure it out for yourself that, hey, this is, this is a new experience and it's good. And makes me feel good then you can see the exactly. benefit well even for myself when i started um like i'm a graphic designer by by trade and that's what i'm in school for so i'm creative all the time but i've never really until the last couple of years i never did art for myself it's always mm -hmm. for the clients or for work or whatever it is never really just sitting down and doing whatever i wanted to do and when i did yeah. that um when i was recovering from anxiety uh about two actually two years ago right now the christmas season when i started doing the art and um mm -hmm. i had no reasoning to do it i had no you know motive i just wanted to do it i just right. it looked cool so i just yeah. went with it and uh at the end of it when you know it took a couple of weeks to do a couple of pieces but at the end of it each time i sat down and did it i felt so much better um yeah. and i was doing it for myself even being like i said being an artist That's being a designer it. myself but i never did it for me just doing whatever yeah. I want, you know, whatever came out of the creative space that I was working on, yeah. just doing it. You know what I mean? And at the end yeah. of the day, I th I think it looks I think it looks amazing. I love I love the art. And on top of it yeah. all, I, you know, I at the end of it, I thought, you know, I think I can use this for other means. And that's that's where this mm. whole canvas within started from yeah. was from that art. If it wasn't for that art, it fueled yeah, you. Yeah, it did. It de definitely did. And if it wasn't for that, who mm. knows? You know, if we never started, exactly. I wouldn't have started this. But that's where it started. And I just thought, you know, uh, once I had the art, I, and I thought, well, this this is actually pretty cool. How can I yeah. use this? You know for a positive, uh, you know, a positive outcome. And I always thought, you know, putting messages, that's what I did. And that's how I thought, yeah. that's what helped me out, basically. That's, that's what, what works for you. Me, exactly. But um, other than we're talking about art, uh, what can you let other people know about other types of creative methods that you've been learning about? Oh, yeah. Well, even um, for, as you were saying, for you, it was visual arts that helped you kind of get through what it was you were, you were going through. For me, it was improv and performance and finding, uh, finding open, open theater and just being able to go out and do whatever and try new characters and especially becoming someone else be in presenting that to people. So it was, I had joined the improv club at Brock and, um, it became my family. And now still to this day, it, it helped me it led me to where I needed yeah, to be. Yeah, and it, got, and and it made, made you grow a certain way. Yeah, so that's what I felt, found so neat about expressive arts therapy is that it, it does integrate all of these things. I can integrate my love and passion for improv and now visual arts and then put that into writing. And it's just that you can just integrate it all and use all of it without having to just focus on one specific thing. Um, and I find that it, it, that's inviting for people. That's what it, it is kind of grasping. So it's, it's very inclusive, um, within its work. So you don't really have to try just one. You try get to whatever try. You want. Yeah. 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 And that's, that's the best part because each individual like drama or visual arts, um, uh, or music, those are awesome on their own. So it's just like to think if you can put them together and, and use them all at once, what, like what a, a better opportunity what yeah. an experience that would be. Um, but I can say, try them, try them all, get a journal, just keep it beside Journaling's you. Journaling is really important too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And just take some time. We, we like to call it having self care and using yourself effectively, have effective use of self. And that's so important. And if it's the arts that can help you do, do that, use yourself effectively and be while you're taking care of yourself and you're, you're doing something safe and creative and expressive, then try exactly. it. Uh, just try it. It doesn't matter what it what is. It exactly, is. Yeah. Uh, so, mm -hmm. but like when you start off your own practice to be a expressive arts therapist, um, if somebody came to you, yeah. how, 
how do you uh, start it off with them? Like basically like they just saying, okay, I want to try something different. What, where would you lead them to? Mm -hmm. Well, first before anything, um, if there's one tip I can give anyone trying to find a therapist or kind of get grasp some help, it's, it's to shop around, kind of do like speed dating with your therapist or the people that you're looking to, to seek help from, because that relationship with the person is the most important thing ever. If you don't have a good relationship, then you're not going to be able to trust one another and explore things. You're not going to be willing to. It's just, yeah, definitely. it's human nature. It's not going to work that way. So if, as a therapist, I, and I'm sure other therapists around, um, that we won't get upset if, if we understand. So go out and you can message them, send someone or give them a call, say, Hey, this is what I'm interested in. What do you offer this and that even go meet them for coffee or something just to get that, that connection there. Um, so often when I do start speaking to new clients, new individuals, I, I make sure they let me know what they want. And then I let them know what I can offer them because if yeah. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep and and I want to make sure that we're both going to get out of it what what's what necessary we're going into it for yeah exactly so that's a that's the most important bit of getting into it and getting started and then with that it it just kind of comes um, if if one day you come in and we're in the middle of a session you're like I don't want to do anything then okay let's exactly. not do anything this is your time and if that's what you need then great. Or if for a full hour and a half you want to be scribbling on a piece of paper, then okay, go do it. <laughs> like, sure, it's for you. Um, I'm just there to provide a safe and open creative space that allows someone to to do what they need to do to get back to being themselves exactly. and give and themselves the some grounding part, and is, understanding. Uh, and, them one way yeah. or another, right? Help them Definitely. be be themselves, truly be themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just be there with them in that time and meet them where they're at because it's not it's for them. It's not exactly. for me. It's for exactly. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to so do it for I've, yourself. Uh, so, what do you think uh, about being creative, just in any sense, mm -hmm. either artistic or musical or whatever, whichever way? What yeah. do you think about being artistic helps? How does how does that help people with stress and depression, anxiety? Like, what aspect of it do you think helps? In what sense? In that sense, I mean, it's. I'm gonna say it'd be the the process, the focusing and and doing. Because when you're you're in this, no matter what it is you're doing, you're only focusing on that that single task at hand, exactly, right? You're yeah. just doing that one thing. So you're, you're in that moment. You're, exactly, you're in that moment. You're living in your own world. Everything around you no longer matters. So right then and there, that's a stress reliever. You're, you're letting go of anything and everything that you were holding on to. And if there is anything inside that does need to come out, it will, because now that you're, you're expressing yourself, it's a, it's like an exterior form of your inner self. Yeah. That's awesome. That's <laughs> um, an awesome way you know? of explaining it. Yeah. So, whatever's fueling you on the inside and whatever needs to come out will, but it just won't come out verbally. It'll come out in whatever way you're expressing it, whether it be, you know, playing guitar, playing the drums, drawing, writing, anything, dancing, running around it's, in circles. It's going to come and out. Like, it's going to come out of you. Out. Exactly. Exactly. So just, just take the time to, to do it and, and do it. I don't want to say seriously, that's not the word I want to use, but when you're focused and ready to, ready to just explore, because you do have to be open, open and willing to, to do yeah, it. Definitely. Yeah, especially if it's not something you're used to. Um, so it's kind of, yeah. And, and you know when it's right and when you want to start, because you wouldn't be doing exactly. it, <laughs> you, you know? Um, so typically it just kind of goes hand in hand. And once you're willing to open it, everything falls into place and, and kind of makes sense of themselves. Cause truly we know what's going on on the inside and what the answers are and what we need to do for ourselves to feel good and make things better. Cause once you're set, then everything around you falls into exactly. place. A hundred percent agree with you. Definitely. And, yeah. and the, the, the first point that you made about being in the moment and that's mm -hmm. exactly what it is because it. even, even, uh, you know, mainly for anxiety what i know from experience is you're not in that moment you're no. you're in the future 
you're oh, completely yeah. in the future thinking about what's going to happen and when you do art any type of art or when you're and you sit there and you do something you're focused exactly on that moment and so everything right. else just drop away and you're just there and that's and a lot of people don't know how to focus on this moment and this is one way of, of doing that is um, yeah. focusing on the moment through art, through expressing yourself in whichever way that is. And, and that's basically what it is, is just, is just learning how to be in that moment. And this is why that's one way exactly. that uh, you can learn is through being mm-hmm. uh, creative in one way or another. Oh, 100%. You're using both parts of your brain at the same time. You're so you're releasing all these good endorphins. Like, t- scientifically, it's good really you. good yeah, for definitely. you. Yeah, yeah, a lot of medical studies that show it. So it's just being open to doing Perfect. it and letting the benefits come. Yeah, so come. we're starting to uh, come down on our half hour uh, time here. So uh, it was, it was definitely. So I wanted to ask you, um, so the canvas within, the whole analogy behind the canvas in, within for myself is that uh, we all have a, a canvas within ourselves that we have to paint daily. And right. some days we paint it with really dark colors like fear um, and guilt. So they're like yeah. really dark colors like black or dark purple. But then um, what we really want to do is paint the most beautiful, brightest picture you can daily. Mm-hmm. So you use colors like red, which could be love, pink, compassion. So, you know, it depends. But we the whole point is to pick bright colors or bright emotions or good emotions to paint your canvas within so i wanted to ask you was which colors would you pick or do you pick daily um to paint your canvas within so that you have a good and positive day i would probably definitely green for sure like a big bright green that was the first thing that came (laughs) in your mind eh? yeah that was big green and it was surrounded by yellow so um what emotions would you tie in with that yeah really good but huh you just sparked something in me right there um what emotion would that be excitement um excitement and uh i also see the word opportunity okay perfect yeah awesome yeah i love it i love it yeah definitely green green was actually the same color that uh Justin, the first, uh, the first guest on uh, oh, really? the first episode, he picked green too. <laughs> oh <laughs> so wow! It's funny. Well, good. It's funny how uh, it's a trend. it is a trend. Let's see how it like, keeps on going with every uh, yeah. every guest we have. Yeah, let's see. we just like keep it to the very end. Like, what did you? What did you pick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, awesome. I want to thank you for your time, Elena. I think uh, our conversation is going to help a lot of people out there. I think um, it does. I hope it reaches a lot of people and uh, in the end, I hope uh, people actually go out and uh, do something creative and express what they're feeling inside and bring it out, bring it out in that, which, in that way, which, uh, which is a creative way. And uh, hope, I hope it helps uh, a lot of people out there. Yes, me too. Thank you for this initiative and for starting it and getting it out there because we need to spread the word. We definitely so. do, and uh, I'm yeah. just just trying, try my best, one one thing at a time, and hopefully, That's let's it. see where this where this goes. On the up and up. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, Elena. All right. See you. Thanks so much for having me.